Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and I just got back from a 10 day car camping trip from Texas up to the Oregon coast and sort of back down and I'm exhausted, but I had a great time. Um, 4,700 miles or something like that, I think. If you watch my channel, you know I have a little travel trailer that I call Gidget. And no, I did not get rid of her. I still have her. But I just need a little more freedom. So here's my 10 days of surviving in my Nissan Pathfinder on the road. Just want to start off by showing you um, the back, the inside of the back. So underneath, first thing I did was put these uh, foam squares from front to back just to make it a little more comfortable both under the bed and then in the seating area. Bit. Back here I just keep a little extra supplies. Um, I'll go into what's in my cabinets in just a little bit a little further in the video but I do keep them bungeed as I drive. I just put that one back on for an example for you. My bed is a, I believe it's a six inch trifold mattress from Amazon. So the whole thing does fold up and has a nice little cover that it goes in for when I'm not traveling. But it's been really, really comfortable uh, for this trip and I was very surprised by that. So this is the side of the car that I use as the entry side for me. Just want to show you a little bit how uh, it works for me. I don't keep this on permanently, but it is a, it's a uh, screen so that I can keep my windows cracked a little bit and not have any mosquitoes or critters coming in at night. I usually keep this piece folded up and just put in this little cup holder right here, uh, but I wanted to show you what it looked like kind of on the door. And then down here, I keep this handy little piece right here. I have no idea what this is called, but I found it on Amazon. I think it's super cool. So I have a car carrier or a carrier on top that I put extra things in that I cannot reach. I'm five foot tall, but this little piece actually is on the car right here and it makes a nice step for me so that I can climb up there and reach the stuff that's on top. So it's actually pretty handy for that. The little tray you see behind the seat that is a folded down currently it this is my tray in the down position and i can either put food on it or my ipad laptop anything like that it, or it's a good workstation for me but it does fold up and get out of the way when i need to get in also on the other side just under my bed i keep my ice chest now the bonus of having a trifold bed is that it really can just fold up and I can get to the ice chest both from inside and then from outside on the other. So this is what the inside looks like where I sleep. Again, I'm not a professional car camper. I don't live in my car. I've camped one time um, overnight and I literally just slept in the car and that was it. Uh, so this is kind of what I came up with. I'm sure there are tons of better ideas, but this is just mine. And over here is sort of my closet. I got these drawer containers here. These ones at Dollar General, I believe it was. They're 14 bucks a piece. And they actually ride really well in here in the space. Um, you can see if I have stuff wedged on the top of it, some of my bulkier items, my towels, my jeans, a few of my jackets, um, they actually stay up there well. And these uh, containers actually travel really well they don't tump but I do have as you can see in one of the other pictures I do keep the bungee cords over them when I travel but just to give you an idea and like I said I have just gotten back from my trip so these are not full like they were to capacity when I was traveling but just wanted to give you an idea the first little cabinet there I just keep my clothing in um, nightgowns shirts female items and then my second cabinet here this is of what's left of my pantry for the trip that I went on and an extra overflow for clothing and then this is down here ouch, sorry down here is my camera equipment my extra jackery things this is a junk drawer of sorts I've got extra sheets and masks um, a life straw flashlight shower cap is kind of a, a hodgepodge of, of the extra things that I carried along with me this time and my second drawer here is going to be my toiletries um, and just basic items to get ready with bottom drawer paper plates well you can see um, some uh, plastic baggies plastic wearable that kind of thing just eating utensils sort of sort of thing and the final small cabinet that I have in here uh, this is just 
you know, my, my stamps, my envelopes, a book that I'm reading, a little journal. Second drawer here is just all kind of fasteners, command hooks, command Velcro, um, thumbtacks, just a little bit of all that kind of stuff. In the bottom drawer is my hodgepodge of tools and tape and extra bungee cords, uh, the little cheap ones, just kind of anything else that I can throw in here that I might kind of need for the trip. So that's all of them together. And again, they ride nicely. I keep them bungeed uh, closed and never had any issues. I do have some space down here in between the bed and the shelf. So usually when I travel, I keep my little Jackery tucked in here, um, when, both when I'm driving and also when I'm sleeping, it fits kind of nice in here. I know this is only the small Jackery. I think it's the, it's the 160. But, I mean, this thing has been great for my trip, keeping my uh, iPad and my phone and everything charged up for me for my 10-day trip. But it just tucks right down in here, and I can have things plugged in it when I sleep. So that's been a really nice addition to my trip this time. And over here to my left, I don't know if you'll see this very well, but tucked down in here between the bed and the door, I keep the... Um, blackout things that I made for the windows. Now guys, I know that these are not amazing and I've seen some that are just beautiful and great. This is just a cheap piece of foam board from the dollar store and the black tape. And as you can see, it's not pretty, but it is efficient and does exactly what it needs to do. The passenger side of the car, not nothing too fancy. Um, I really like to have open space, so when I am driving, I have a place to put things when I stop. So here, I found this great little carrier on Amazon as well, and it, it does pull off of here and close up and carry like a backpack, but for me, I kept all my receipts and stuff here in the top on the road, my laptop, my iPad, some files. I can put all the chargers in here, pins, it holds a lot, so you can use it for whatever you want it for, but it's kept my front seat clean. And like I said, I can just close this up. You can't tell what's in it. Or I can carry it as a backpack with me when I go places. Um, in the floor, I just kept some extra water. There's a little bit more camera equipment down there and some stationery. And this is just a Coleman butane stove that I took. <laughs> I actually didn't use it on the road at all. So I, I took some lunch meat and things and I ate out a few places um, as well, but I had the space for it just in case. On my dash, I usually always kept um, an extra charger for cell phone use and then my light is solar, will charge my cell phone as well. I kept that up here and then above here, I just kept extra maps and things to, so they would be kind of ready for me. And other than that, that's pretty much the tour of how I spent my last 10 days. And finally, I have my car top carrier that I just got. It's another Amazon find. Um, I would eventually like a hard top carrier for uh, my vehicle, but this one actually worked well. I have a tent, I have my folding chair, I've got yoga mats, extra towels. Uh, that's also where I kept my dirty clothes. So every day I would just bag them and, and toss them up there and it, it rode well. It's been through lots of rain and lots of wind and everything inside is still intact. For those of you who tune into my channel for my casita videos, not to worry, I'm back home now and getting Gidget ready for our next adventure and you will see her soon.